Hello everyone, Jennifer with Crafty Bones. So today I am going to just sew a couple of blankets for an order for my Etsy shop. And um, I did manage to get two more washcloths done. And I just want to do a quick update of the skeleton stuff that I bought today. Not today, last week. Last week they had um, things on sale at Joanne. I love their new fall and Halloween decorations. There is a piece there that's $100, so I'm never going to spend $100 on it, but maybe if there are still any left, I will get them when they have their sale. They do usually a buy one, get two free kind of thing, and there's a couple of different things that are like $100 or $60. I don't know. We'll see, but I bought a new Halloween decoration too. I'll probably just have to put a picture of that in because I did not set it up. Usually I set it up to test it, but with all the construction going on around the house, there's just no space to just set this up. It's a seven foot tall thing, so... Um, yeah, so I will show you the new skeleton stuff I got. All right, so here are some of the new Halloween decorations I got. First, I'll put in a picture of the seven foot skeleton I bought right here. Okay, and I got this new pillow. This is all beaded, so definitely not something I'll be sleeping on. I bought this little guy. He's got a bottle of champagne and a bubble bath. That was from Hobby Lobby. The pillow as well. And then also from Hobby Lobby, I got this. It's um, three skeletons, varying sizes, and different yoga poses. It seems to be that um, Lately, all of the skeletons are coming in yoga poses, and it doesn't matter where you buy them from, whether you get them from Meyer or Michaels or Hobby Town, Hobby Lobby, or um, Joann's, it doesn't matter. They're typically in yoga poses. And um, then I also got this oil glass skull that's a bottle, and then the same oil glass, I got a mug. I also got skeletons and yoga poses. These are, um, I don't remember where I got them. I think it's Joann's, but so there's this pose, this pose, this pose, and this pose. This was not I just thought about it. It wasn't Joanne. This was at Menards. Now I do have those same skeleton poses. They're just in smaller sizes. So let me show you a comparison here. So they are different sizes and not that that's any excuse for buying that many skeletons, but there we have it. I also got these skulls, and these were from at home, and these were relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other stuff, but it's see no evil, speak no evil, and hear no evil. So I don't even know what size they are, but they fit my hand. Those are the ones that I got recently. And then at the dollar store, they had skeleton tongs. I've seen a couple of people making cooking videos online using these, so for a dollar, I thought they were cute. But that's it. Those are the new Halloween decorations that I got, so here's the rest of the video. All right, so here are the three blankets that are going out. Alphabet that is made out of animals and... Um, like the little toy xylophones. There's just all kinds of stuff. Like W is watermelon, X is xylophone. The Y is a yak. The Z is a zebra. You get it, right? And then just alphabet. And then finally, monkeys and bananas. So that's going out today. Um, I want to remind everyone again to make your washcloths for rows, for wings. I will link her below and the washcloths and crochet towel toppers go to her in the month of October. So do as many as you can. Washcloths are simple and easy. You can usually get done pretty quickly for a washcloth. Even to just do a double crochet stitch for however many rows, um, it works great as a washcloth. 
But thanks for stopping by and happy crocheting.